journalist when Nikki Muller gave birth to her beautiful daughter Isla in December 2013. She, of course, was overjoyed. Uh, what Nikki didn't know at the time was that Isla had been born with a rare and life-changing genetic condition shared by just 70 people in the UK. Now age nine, Isla is proving that her day-to-day -day challenges won't stop her bringing happiness to those around her. And her mum, Nikki, is with us now to tell the family's story. Good morning to you both, all of you. Uh, we're morning. going to bring lovely Isla out in a minute. But I kind of want to go back to 2013, as we said, in December giving birth to your first baby, which is, as a mother, is that feeling of everything's going through your mind, isn't it? What does this look like? How yeah. is this, how is this going to go? How's the experience going to be? You give birth to a healthy baby. And then what happens? So, yes, yeah, so she was born um, in hospital and um, we just noticed she had funny looking big toes. And so we just said to the uh, consultant when they were doing their rounds before discharge, would you mind just having a look? Mm -hmm. You know, I just don't know why her big toes are turned in. Mm. And they went away, came back and said, um, oh, it's congenital bunions. I was like, okay, never heard of that, fine. And um, they sent us on our way and said that we would get an appointment with an orthopaedic surgeon, mm. probably in the new year. So we didn't hear anything, and I did what I think most parents do now. Mm -hmm. um, Dr. Google. Dr. Google, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. And I put in congenital bunions and soon found out there's no such thing as congenital bunions. So I kept searching, trying to work out, you know, not thinking it was anything sinister, just thinking, what kind of operation yeah, yeah. would she need? Mm -hmm. Is it going to impact her hips? Mm. What, you know, what would this mean for her? And I looked up malformed big toes and immediately a picture of her toes came up. And it was like that light bulb mo moment of, that's, yeah, that's, that's mm -hmm. what it what is. It is. But, but even then, armed with that knowledge, um, you go back and you say, I think I'm beginning to find a path of what this might be. And it, it, you're told, well, you might have postnatal depression here. Exactly, yeah. So I went to my GP, obviously, you know, brand new mother, um, just, God, I mean, I think back now and I was a mess, you know, understandably. And, you know, you look up FOP and it, it's not good reading. And mm. um, you obviously see some of the worst cases as well on the internet and um, you don't see the people behind um, the story yeah. on, on, mm -hmm. on there. So I um, was told I had postnatal depression. I then decided that... Um, well, I knew that wasn't the case. I knew that I was a new mother struggling, yeah. yes. Mm. But I was convinced that my child had this condition. So we contacted uh, the UK charity, FOP Friends, and met, um, well, online, um, a lovely um, couple that run the charity whose son has FOP. Mm -hmm. mm. So they were able to signpost us to the then expert in Oxford who we went to see. And um, then eventually, after a lot of toing and throwing, um, at um, three months old, Isla um, was diagnosed. I was at home with my baby on my own. I got a phone call to say, yes, the blood test has confirmed. So, and you struggle for this. I mean, you mm. really did fight for it. Finally, you have um, this Mother's very complicated instinct. name, fibrodysplasia, ossificans progressiva, um, and that's the FOP. Yes. Um, what does it mean? What is it? What will it be? Yeah, so it's a really rare condition. Isla's one in one million. And as you said, 70 cases in the UK. We expect there's around 7,000 people in the world that are yet to be diagnosed. It basically means that her body is building a second skeleton. So she has um, progressively a healthy mind with a frozen body. Mm. So like with any injury and just progress any Anything like an injury or an illness, stress um, can cause the... This, she's basically got a switch that turns on and tells her body to build bone. Yeah. So... Um, well, she bang, like, like normal kids would be at school and they're playing around, they bang, bang themselves. She banged her head the other day and, um, and that immediately you're on the highest of alert. Mm. It drives her mad. Yes, it drives um. her <laughs> mad, yes, yes. We all do that. <laughs> Panicky mum, but, you know, when she was diagnosed and I read and I learned all about this, all I wanted to do was wrap her in cotton wool. You know, we padded the walls, we had her in helmets. And then we realised, she made us realise, we can't live our lives like this. Mm. You know, there is going to be progression, yes, but 
she taught us that, you know, we need to live, live our best lives. And, you know, her progression has been harsh. She, um, you know, by three years old, she's lost movement in her neck, her shoulders, so she can't lift her arms, mm. her elbows. Her elbows are locked at her waist. She has a little bit of movement now because she also has scoliosis because um, of the FOP and the FOP treatment has caused her to bend over. Um, and Im impacted her, her growth in her case as well. Mm. And so, yeah, it's, it's been a big challenge. Mm -hmm. It's a massive challenge for you as, um, as parents um, within the family, but I think helped by her resilience. Yeah. I mean, she, she is extraordinary. Um, and you are inspired by her. We're going to meet her now. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, and you are constantly inspired Absolutely. by her. Well, yeah. I mean, it's hard not to be. Reading the story this morning and how she isn't letting this get to her. This is her... She's using this as her kicker to say, OK, how do I inspire Absolutely. other people? And yeah. how do I help other people? Yeah. I mean, and how does a young she do lady that? you're raising. <laughs> Goodness me. I know. Me. I'm super, super proud for her. I mean, her zest for life is both um, contagious and oh. inspiring to, to not just to me, but to anyone that knows her. Um, and, Here yeah. She comes. Here, Here she, she comes. <laughs> OK, darling. I did say, I said, Ilo, if, if we were doing... When I met her in the break, I said, if we were doing sparkles today, you should have called me, girl. That is yeah. an outfit. That's very that sparkly. Is an outfit. You Gorgeous. love your uh, sparkles, don't you? Absolutely. And handbags. And, yes, uh, and well, we share that in common. <laughs> we've, also, we've also been hearing about the ponies at uh, Quest as well. Um, so have you got a favourite? Because you love, love ponies, you love riding things. Have you got favourites? Yeah. What's your favourite? Holly. Holly? <laughs> That's handy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, that, that is very is. handy, isn't it? Um, and uh, and so um, so, tell me about Holly. What sort of what sort of pony is she? Um, she's a little black we can see Welsh there. pony. Yeah. yeah. And um, actually, that's Diablo, that one. But we also love DB, don't we? He's awesome. Uh, um, yes. And um, well, all the ponies at the Quest Riding for the Disabled are just incredible, and they okay. the way that they look after you and you just love your rides with your... your t you go with two different friends, don't you, that have other mobility conditions, and um, you just well, have so that much the, fun. I know that the FOP community, that charity, that team, uh, have been amazing. Your local um, community have been so supportive mm. and incredible. But you, you um, during lockdown, um, the, 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 they were in trouble with a bit of money and, and, and you decided that you were going to raise that yourself... Um, how much did you uh, how much did you raise for them? Um, three thousand. Three thousand. Three thousand pounds, and uh, and managed to manage to help them as well. And there are other things you want to do as well, aren't there? Yeah. What sort of what what would you like to do now? Um. You're doing the going to do a superhero triathlon, aren't you? Next yeah. in the summer. Wow. Wow. Um, and you're going to raise t money for FOP Friends that time. Yeah. So that's the thing, we've got so many charities that support us and are so good to us. Mm -hmm. And the Riding for the Disabled and FOP Friends are two of the key ones, aren't they? And so we're always trying to think of ways to get... Well, also to get involved in things as well. You like a challenge, don't you? Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> well, we think you're incredible. We really do. We really do. And, 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 and you've said that hardly any GP knows anything about this and hasn't heard about it. No, and the thing is that, yes, it is rare, but it is really obvious. If you see these toes, you mm. see what looks like bunions in a mm. newborn baby or in a, a child or even an adult. Mm. You know, you need to be asking the questions. Obviously, bunions is a whole different thing. Yes. Yes. If they're born with their big toes turned in like that. And the other symptom is soft tissue swelling. So what I didn't say is after we saw the toes... Um, Isla then did get the first swelling on her head, mm. which looked like a tumour. It was the size of Satsuma at times. Right. right. And that's the other side. Um, nice to meet you too as well, by the yes, way. Yes, lovely to meet you. Thank you for coming in, James. Uh, right then, so uh, we uh, obviously have got to have 
some sort of a present Absolutely. for you here. Oh, my goodness. There we are. This is because we think you're amazing. What me. is that? So what do you think? Present there we go. For you. We'll pop Whoa. those there. We'll get, them, we'll get them all opened up. <laughs> what do you think? Um, okay. It was so lovely to lovely meet you. Lovely to meet you. Lovely Thank you for coming in. Thank you. And it is FOP Awareness Day on Sunday. So right. encouraging everyone to get their funkiest socks, shoes, um, whatever it might be, um, on and um, wear them and um, hashtag funfeet for FOP on Sunday. Well Brilliant. Well Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you very Thank much. You.